Hi babes, here is La Bella Roma, my trip to Rome. Starting off, this is the travel from the airport to the hotel. Only pyramid in Italy and some other wonderful spots that I ran into on the way to the hotel. And here we are. I'm going to show you a little bit of the bathroom. Everything was done Italian style, so it's all trimmed in brass. Um, even the bidet, as you can see. And going next into the shower, it is an Italian shower, which means it has an overhead and a handheld. Those products were fantastic. I especially love the shower gel. Very, very nice. So that is the shower. And the hotel was supposed to give us a deluxe room with a balcony, so they goofed. So I'm going to show you what they did give us. So this is the room. And... This is the door that you enter in. And then next we have the bedroom. And this was compliments of the hotel for the goof. And of course, I am relaxing at the end of the day upstairs on the deck. So day two. And we are at the Borghesi family plot. This is a beautiful mansion that was made famous by the Showtime movie The Borgias. This is actually the rape of Proserpine who was a Greek goddess and the man who raped her he actually turns into a tree so that is what this is depicting. But so many of the sculptures and the artwork have like beautiful, beautiful stories to it. I was just mesmerized by all that I saw there. So just wanted to show you a few things that I saw. Brown Girl Bella. And this is the reason why I did not gain any weight in Paris or in Italy because I was walking up and down stairs and walking everywhere we went. This is me going down the stairs in the Borghese Museum to see what is downstairs. And trust me when I say all of these steps were like 15,000, 14,000 a day. So yes, I was wearing my sneakers. Also going outside, we saw this cute little train. So we decided to hop on it and take some aerial shots of everything around the Borgias Museum. So this is some things that we saw in and around the museum. My goodness, it is so breathtaking seeing these shots. It almost feels like a painting within a painting because it just does not seem real. But it was so, so beautiful. Babes, if you get a chance, Please put Italy, Rome on your list of things to go and see. Just breathtaking, just beautiful. Babes, we are now at the infamous Spanish steps in Rome. My goodness, today we were treated to a full orchestra girl, doing um, some Spanish songs. And I'm going to tell you something. First of all, these stairs are very, very steep. They're made of limestone. So I can just imagine if it is wet, it will be very, very slippery and slick to walk up on. But even in the heat, and it's about 80 degrees, it was still very, very hot. And the ground was slick to walk on. Here's me posing. Cheese. 
And across from the Spanish Steps are all of the stores, Montclair, Prada, Gucci, you name it, it was there. This is the fountain, famous fountain where you can make a wish and toss a coin over. So that is what I did. Boop. Good luck. When in Rome, right? Do as Romans do. So here is a picture of me in front of the fountain. And then this church is very viral because apparently you can take a picture in front of a mirror and it will look like you're floating. So I tried it. Well, Rome, unlike Paris, um, the streets are a little larger. Even the smaller streets are a little larger than in Paris. Um, the cars are a little fancier here so far. Lots of BMWs. I've seen quite a few. Um, the stores very easy to find. Right by the fountain. Um, high end luxury stores. So babes, if you want to do some shopping, everything is here. So Gucci, Prada, um, Dior. Um, everything, everything, everything is here. Um, so I'm excited to do some shopping. I know the real shopping is going to be in Florence though because I've been told by several that the high-end luxury outlet stores are there. So we're going to do some studying days and we're going to look for the one with the most. And we're going to go to that one from Florence. So more on that later, but I don't know how to say it. And it is a bistro that serves um, aperitifs, which is like the sort of opener to a wine or you know, just having dinner. It's supposed to be um, to just open up the palate. So, okay, that's really interesting. And I'd be interested to see when we do like a um, multiple course meal where they serve the cheese in Italy because in Paris, unlike what we're used to in America when we usually start off with cheese, we do almost end of meal with cheese. So what we do here. Hey babes, brown girl Bella, Bella in Roma. And we are in front of the Pantheon, and I'm having my gelato. I'm having a really gelato. I'm having a really great Italian experience. It's been my dream for a long time since I'm a little girl. Of course, I watched Roman Holiday, and it's always been my dream to come here. Um, the culture, the history, being Hispanic, being. Um, a Catholic, uh, just loving the culture of art and fashion and shoes, wine is like older, cheese, it has everything that I would want. Of course, you know, I love Italian food, it's my favorite food ever, so I am here just soaking up all of the culture and all of this great experience and I, I, I'm at a loss of words, this is a dream come true, and I am just in awe of everything.